is the new battle pass in the season 2 update worth it to buy or not? Now, a lot of this is my opinion coming from like a professional standpoint. I'm one of the top players and uh, for me it's not worth it, for example, I don't get anything from it. But I'm going to try and put myself into a situation, into your guys' situations and see whether you should buy it or not. So if we start with what you're getting basically, what you get from buying the battle pass. Now I should note that buying levels is just not worth it. Um, if you're buying the battle pass, if you, like, if it's worth it, but either way, if you buy the power pass, you must do your dailies and weeklies and get all the 30 rewards. If you don't get all 30 rewards, then it's just a waste altogether. So that's just the first thing I want to mention. You should not buy levels. You should, if you buy it, buy the battle pass purely and do your daily and weekly quests. And that's just the first thing I want to point out. Now, what do you get from buying the battle pass with 800 Robux? Um, you have 61 days and this is basically what you get. So one thing you do get is 100 awakening tokens Five or no, you get 100 awakening tokens two times and then 150 awakening tokens two times as well So you get 500 awakening tokens now This is in of itself enough for you to awaken one character See here every character needs 500 awakening tokens you can also buy them for Robux, but 500 Awakening Tokens does cost 999 Robux. So just from that, it's you can technically say it's worth it, but that's not really how it works. And then, basically, the other way to get Awakening Tokens is from the Free Battle Pass and from the Gacha Wind. But here, it's you only get 25, so it's really hard for you to actually get Awakening Tokens this way. So... Buying the battle pass, if you only would get the, the the awakening tokens, wouldn't be worse than just buying awakening tokens straight up. So one way that's just better than buying these for that matter. So awakening tokens don't really matter to you unless you're getting to the mid game a bit to the higher levels. If you're just starting out, you don't really need awakening tokens. I'll go more into situations at the end of the video, basically. You also get um, two costumes. You get this Shadow Monarch one, and you do get at 15 this Priestess one. So those are just some costumes, helps you for stat bonuses, and probably like flex as well. A few, fewer like a few less worth things that you still get, but it's just not as huge. Is that you get 900 more gems from buying the battle pass. Now 800 robux with good stuff and then eight 900 gems is almost like like it's not too bad. Sure, you go back, but it's still. Just double the cost, which is actually a great addition if you don't have a lot of gems. 900 gems, pretty good, but in the grand scheme of things, in 30 days, uh, which it takes to complete the battle pass basically, you will get more than 900 gems. So the gems are just add-ons, as well as the infinite tokens, and also like the boss rush tickets. You get like five more boss rush tickets and 1,500 infinite tokens from buying the pass. Which, in of itself, for those that amount of Robux, is not that worth it. Neither is these four all boosts. Now, yes, it is more worth it than just buying boosts. Look at this, how expensive these boosts are. It's more worth it. All boosts. However, that's just that, that's still just ads. That's not the main things you get from this. Now we're getting to the main things. So, one thing you will get is this character. And... With my testing, she is okay. Yeah, you could definitely use her, especially in early game and maybe in the mid game, but late game she won't really have a use. So that's a thing to keep in mind that late game players, you might not need this character. You will also get 
these three capsules so one here one here and one here these are the raid capsules that you can get in raid shop for 150 uh raid token and they are permanent so yeah uh, here you can get Kermi, the best pet in the game so you get three of those which is quite worth it just not that's not what the 800 rubux is for though you do get some raid tokens now this is one of the bigger things as you do actually get 600 raid tokens which isn't a lot definitely not a lot if you think of like uh, a whole 30 days but it's better than the gems you can definitely say but the biggest thing was obviously so far the awakening tokens and the character but the biggest thing in this battle pass is basically the speed rate tokens now in the battle pass if you buy it you get 500 additional speed rate tokens and you get none from doing the free one so that's literally just 500 rate uh, speed rate tokens and that's really good as you can see here you can not get a lot of speed rate tokens you can actually only get 275 speed rate tokens in one month i don't know if they added another way to get speed rate tokens yet um i i'm not sure i haven't played the game but it might be but this is huge 800 robux for 500 speed rate tokens how much does it cost in the regular shop 500 it's 500 robux so 500 robux for that and remember we also had the 500 awakening tokens which cost 1000 we have the gems character array tokens uh and, and the boosts Altogether, the battle pass is obviously worth the robux if you think about if you compare it to the other things it's much more worth to buy the battle pass than the other things so you should never really buy the boosts the gems um well instant gems and everything um speed rate tokens instant stuff it's just better for the with the battle pass now let's go into situations if you're a beginner if you just started out and you have like 1000 robux to spend i would not buy the battle pass the battle pass for new players don't do not like it does not benefit you at the beginning you get a cops and a boost on awakening tokens which you can't do anything with just a few gems um you don't get anything important even the speedway tokens it's going to take so long for you to actually use those speedway tokens and especially when when the quests are going to be kind of hard for you and it's not going to be the easiest like you won't do that all the time so yeah if you're a beginner you don't have to buy it instead you should buy the vip game pass um which is here because you then you get double gems and double raid tokens in the afk place that's basically why you buy it so you can get in one day like 1000 raid tokens it, even if you don't play it's amazing if you're a bit of a mid game if you're like in this like maybe maybe to the fate ghoul dimension i would still consider sword dimension really early game like a beginner but if you're getting into ghoul dimension fate dimension and slime dimension a bit your higher level maybe not slime dimension your mid game and you can actually benefit from this because you can get a really good character for you just that it's going to take a while uh, you can get some awakening tokens so you can awaken a pretty cheap character like kirito or levi uh both really good options or rengoku as well if you want that and yeah you just get great stuff um especially these raid tokens and raid capsules those are going to help you a lot uh, in your journey to get to max level in the dimensions but the one thing is if you aren't planning on playing for a long time because if you're in the mid game you probably know if you want to continue playing this or if it's just like you play this for a week if you're not planning on playing it for a long time then don't buy the battle pass you need to play first of all 30 days in a row and play it a lot to get this and then that's after that you don't really get what you need you still need a lot more speed rate tokens only buy the battle pass if you're playing for like two three months more at that point still it's just better to buy the vip game pass if you're not going to play a long time basically but if you're getting to the slime dimension and 
if you want to continue playing after Nightmare, basically. After you reach level 113, you might hit 120, 130, um, and get better cards in the game. The Battle Pass is probably the most worth things for you to buy. You get a good character, maybe not good enough for you to use, but um, that's just an add-on as well. You get some Awakening Tokens, because... That can help you awaken good characters. You get some more stat points. You get some boosts, which can help you get more stuff. Um, raid tokens and gems, you don't get a lot of. So that's not so good. But at this point, you should be closing in on uh, the speed raid token grind. Because if you still play after level 113, the big thing, the big grind for you is not levels anymore. It's not really raids anymore either. It's speed raids because you want to get um shadow monarch sure you still want to get the good great characters like um shanks tengen and even Cursage, but shadow monarch is the main grind after level 113 if you continue on playing after that then it's worth it so uh, but but then as well, if you if you're too late game like me, it's not worth it. Uh, it's definitely not worth it. The only thing I'm getting here is the awakening tokens. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, but yeah, short story said, if you're planning on playing for a long time, then it's actually worth it for you to buy the battle pass. But if you're planning on playing for less than a month. That's probably the time span. Then don't buy it. Then buy the VIP game pass. This goes for every like level you're at. If you just know that you're going to play this game for a long time, then buy the battle pass. And complete the battle pass. That's the most important thing about the battle pass. But if you're if you're aware of that you're just going to play for like a month or even a week, then if you're playing for a month, I recommend you buying the VIP Game Pass. And if you're playing for like a week, then save your Robux because pay doing in this game isn't like actually instant unless you pay a lot of Robux. You actually have to pay a lot of Robux for you to become instantly better than a lot of players with the same amount of time played. But yeah, that's basically it for the Battle Pass. It's kind of in depth, but yeah, I just want to help. You guys, if you should buy it or not, because it's season two. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.